Okay, I've had quite a few requests for the following two words from a gender to remain undisclosed, so let's do the words uh, cute and sexy here. Um, four letter words, nice and short, easy to work with. Uh, we'll start with the word cute, the simplest possible combination. C U T E. It's not very well drawn, but you get the idea. Now, the beautiful thing about four letter words, especially when we got the letters like C here, C is a beautiful letter, especially when you start a word with it, because right off the bat, You've got an option for a side chain. You can continue the word out there, or you can continue the word out of there. So, we can move the U over there. Let's try that. Now we've got TE. Well, I like to keep things kind of square, so if we bring the T on that side, and then put the E under the U like so, we got a pretty good square shape. The other thing we could do is C-U-T-E, and just kind of pull that line down. Um, we could also kind of just go up straight off horizontal, C-U-T. So we got tons of options here for cute. It's actually a very flexible word. And we, we're not even considering yet the options of building in, into the U. We can put the T in the U, we can put the T-E into the U, etc., etc. So, sexy. Okay, simplest possible combination would be S-E-X-Y. Sexy. Simple. Now, if we, uh, the, the, for double combinations, the only one we're really looking at here is the EX. EX. Okay. Um, the Y could be put into here by adding a little circle kind of there, coming out like that. Um, I don't particularly like doing that very much. Yeah, it's not my favorite way. Uh, what else do we have here? The other thing we could do is if we put the X under here, we could, of course, put the Y onto any one of these points we like. Um, what else do we have? I'd say that's about it. So let's see what we can do with this word. Can we make it at all logographic? Well, we got an E. Sexy, we're dealing with a gir pretty girl or pretty guy, so we got a head. Um, if we go down, we got the Y. I'm not sure how to do that into a person, because we only got one joint coming off it. The X, that might work. No, it's... It's hard to make a stick man out of these. I, I can't quite see it, but it might be there. It may be some kind of pretty woman. Maybe these are breasts of some kind, and I don't even want to start mentioning what that might be. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, let's just use the EX combo. Put the E into the X, and we can put the Y out. We could try looping that around like so, maybe connect the Y like that, have this come all the way around, make it a nice circle-y shape. Let's see how that looks. And let's add some style to the EX in the middle. So we go E. Now let's give it kind of a three-dimensional feel to it. See, we've still got our EX. There's still, it's not like it could be anything else, or it's confusing. It just takes a moment maybe to look at it and figure out what it is. We've got our Y. We got our S. We'll start our S like this. Come around in a perfect circle. Back to here. Back to there. Sexy. Eh, not bad. Uh, it doesn't really look like sexy in any particular way, but we can play with it. Okay, let's uh, let's put together cute and sexy. Make two nice versions. Try to make them square shaped, similar to Chinese characters, so they can be used alongside Chinese. Uh, C U T E. Cute and, that's the word and. Sexy. Cute and sexy. Okay, that cute could be drawn better, but whatever.